So this is our Claydon T6. We have a T8 as well. These are flagship models in the range now. They've been developed from the back of the hybrid range of the mounted machines, and they incorporate the front ripping tine, the seeding tine, and double toolbar as standard. So starting from the front of the machine and working my way back, we have optional press wheels or cutting discs with shoulders at the front here, followed directly behind with a ripper tine as a standard hybrid. This tine has the option of being stone protection as it is here, or with a shear bolt. Following that, we have the patented technology of putting our seeding tine straight behind it. So the seed comes out of the splitter boot, and then behind that we have the optional fertiliser boot fitted on this machine. Right up the back here, we're following with a batter board, followed by the green harrow tines to give a perfect finish, like we do on all hybrid machines. These have optional press wheels on the back as well, if anybody so requires it. And then right on the very, very far end, we have the pre-emergence markers as well. Setting the depth of this machine really couldn't be easier with our unique single point depth control system. Simply change the spacers and you change the depth that the seed gets planted at. We have a massive five and a half thousand litre hopper here. It carries about four and a quarter tonnes of seed or we can have a 60-40 split of seed and fertiliser. Inside it we have a light and vision kit. So we can see what's happening at night with the lights on or with the cameras in the daylight. Uh, we also got low levels hopper sensors just to let the farmer know when he's getting low on seed. The light and vision kit also incorporates two cameras outside of the hopper, one underneath for vision underneath and one as you can see off the back of the machine there. We have multiple lights around the machine so that we can see at night what's going on. Out the back here you can see Clayton's own design seed heads. We've incorporated solenoid shutoffs for post-emergence tram liners we can also put seed blockage sensors into them. One of the main design briefs of this machine was to separate the hopper weight from the seeding chassis to make sure that as the hopper emptied that the seed didn't get shallower. To do that we've separated all of the weight onto, from the depth wheels from the transport wheels of the hopper. We have also made sure that every tyre runs on fresh virgin soil so nothing's capping over a readily planted seed. And when we're finished we fold it up and it all folds to under three metres ready for road transport. Newly available for 2016 is the Hybrid T4. It's more compact than the T6 or T8. The T4 features a 3,500 litre hopper capacity which can be split 60-40 seed and fertiliser. As with the T6 and T8, its hopper is independent of the seeding chassis, meaning that no matter how much seed or fertiliser is in the hopper, the seeding depth is never compromised. 
It shares many of the other outstanding features of its bigger brothers, including front press wheels or cutting discs. The hybrid patented two-time technique, plus a variety of interchangeable seating boot options and toolbar options for the rear. All Claydon drills come fitted as standard with the patented Claydon two-tine system for bound sewing, with an option of shear bolt or hydraulic stone protection. The leading tine can be replaced for a cutting disc if the farmer wishes to drill into cover crops. Alternatively, the Claydon twin tine kit, which has a patent pending, can be fitted for sewing into conventional lines just by changing three bolts per tine. The leading tine can be replaced with double cutting discs and low disturbance points for drilling into cover crops and minimal disturbance drilling.